ever been to Alaska? My favorite is Juneau. The hiking is incredible. You have to get up there. It's amazing, like breathtaking. Ugh. They have these pine forests that seem so dense. Oh, you're so dense. But then when the sun hits just right, it creates these ribbons of light. <laughs> Seriously, ribbons. It's... Mm, gross? Perfect. Wow. This has been really nice. Yours. Mmm, lame, boring. Jenny, did you hear that story about his mom embarrassing him with baby photos? Clearly loads of family trauma there. Amazing. Amazing. What? No, no, Jenny. This one is going to dump you like a sack of potatoes the minute his mom disses your cooking. I'm sorry. This one's a dud. We should do this again sometime. <laughs> that jam. I would, I'd love to. <laughs> what? No, 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 Jenny. Ginny, I'm your date whisperer, and I'm telling you that this clingy mama's boy is bad news. You look beautiful. Uh, I do. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you do not know where those lips have been. Ginny, uh-uh. Mm, can you excuse me for a second? <laughs> yes? <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? I'm eating trail mix? This is the best date I've had in months! You're supposed to be helping me! You're supposed to be the best date whisperer there is! Why are you ruining this? Ru no, Ginny, I'm saving you! He's awful! No, you're awful! And you're also fired! No, 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 Ginny, 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 I'm really sorry, I'm sorry, let's just give this a- No, Ginny! <sighs> Another one, Sam? What happened this time? Well, I mean, he kept talking about wanting to take her to the pine forest in some mountain somewhere. I mean, what if he was a serial killer and she was his next victim? I might have just saved her life. He's a park ranger. Yeah, but you know anyone can say they're a park ranger. This isn't a joke, Sam. This is your job. People come to us, rely on us to help them through their first few crucial dates. Love and Whispers has built a reputation on being the best of the best in live date coaching. And you, Sam, you were our top Whisperer, what happened? I know your parents splitting up has been hard, but you've got to pull yourself together. I know, I know, I know. Brianna, I am, I'm, I really am so sorry. One I'm more gonna... chance, Sam. And if your next client doesn't connect with the person of their dreams within our standard three dates, I'm going to have no choice but to fire you. Fired? But you are the best whisperer that we have. Uh, yeah, no, it was. Yeah, she made that painfully clear. Okay, so what are you gonna do? I don't know, Jen. I, I can't afford to lose this job, but it's like, I can't shake off this funk, you know? It's like, I just, I, I, I see myself out there and I'm just like tearing into these guys and I'm just like, Sam, no! Wait, okay, so confusion. Are you like trapped in a well in this scenario and just... No, or not a well. I was... I was going for like a slow motion thing, like, Sam, no. Oh, oh, like, see, like, Sam. No. Okay, stop, Jen. What am I gonna do about this? Um, well, tonight, tonight you're gonna have fun. What, why am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I forgot about that. <sighs> Sam, you forgot, come on. It's your dad's engagement party, and you're his best woman. Yeah, no, I, I know, it's just, it's all happening really fast, you know? Six months ago, he was married to my mom. We were a family, and now it's- I know, I know. It's it's a lot of change really quick. Your mom is now in Florida with her boyfriend, and your dad's engaged to a gorgeous, gorgeous fashion designer, and everyone is happy, except for you, so. You're still gonna come, right? Of course I'm still gonna come. Come on, you know I wouldn't miss a chance to embarrass myself in front of LA's fashion elite. <laughs> Thank you. I wouldn't miss it. the other dress. Hmm? Mm, maybe a little Bo Peepish? Oh, Jen, there he is. He's literally looking right at me. I know, Jenny Bear. Bear. Sammy Bear. Hey, just, just Sam is fine. And Jen? I'll take Jenny Bear. Hi. 
Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, could you come over and talk to Frankie? He said they were talking to his fashion friends, and you would really save me from all that what's new this season talk. Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. I would love to. But first, we're going to grab a drink from the bar, but we'll, we'll be over in a second. OK. Sam, I really want to just go pretend to matter in the world of fashion. Then I need a drink, OK? OK, fine. Trying, but literally, I can't keep smiling. Hi. Hi. Um, um, Hi. Hi. Sorry. Sorry. I, it's for the grooms. Promise, promise. Can I get two apple rhubarb coolers, please? Cool. Cool. What's in that? Yeah, I, I'm not a bartender. I'm a waiter. I'm not even really a waiter, actually. I'm, I'm an actor. So. Um, oh, jeez. No sweat, pal. It's apple juice, apple cider vinegar, just a dash, then sparkling rhubarb soda, and a stem of ginger. You're good to go. That's wrong. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what's that now? What? Did, did you say something? <laughs> well, I was just saying it's the syrup from a jar of stem ginger, not the actual stem. I mean, that would be a choking hazard. Oh, I mean, so is ice. I mean, the, the syrup is just sugar. It's clearly the root. I'm sorry, I'm not the one who's wrong. You are. Oh, no. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, excuse I'm. I'm what? Wrong. <laughs> Do you guys just made, like, want a soda or something? Um, no, it's the syrup. Okay, it's the root, and I would bet money on it. No. Oh, why bet money? Um, if I'm right, you can drink all the syrup in the jar. And if I'm right, you can eat all the ginger roots. So many antioxidants to keep you from feeling sick over losing. Jen? It's the syrup. Hmm. You guys are so weird. Okay. You heard, I think I said syrup, right? I did say that. Double or nothing. Nope. I'm happy with my win, thank you. Oh, um, two sodas. Cool. Got it? You know what? Triple or nothing. Come on, anything you want to bet on. I'm really good, thank you. Here. Thank you. Thanks, here you go, Jen. Thank you. Mm. This is for me, and um, <gasps> and, that's for you. Enjoy. Come on, Jen. <laughs> I'm Matt, by the way. I'm the best man. I know who you are, best man. I really, I, I just don't really feel yeah, like I, it. Sammy Bear, hey, oh. come on and dance with your old man, huh? Show him how you used to do it at your old recitals. Yeah. Remember, she was so old. Oh, no, well, I was eight then, Dad. It was much easier to impress people. Plus, I forgot my Mickey Mouse tap shoes, so you guys go. Okay. Well, you owe me one. Okay. Okay. All right, come on. Mm. You want to bet the DJ is going to play Funky Chicken next? Wow, you are such a sore loser. You, know, you think you have me pegged, but you don't know me as well as you think you do. I'm not. You're that... a tennis instructor. Yes. Yes, my dad's tennis instructor. You were two for two right now. I'm guessing not a very good one, since this game definitely isn't getting any better. You're also well dressed, though not subtly, likely covering up a lack of actual confidence, which would also explain your overly competitive nature. I'm guessing you drive a convertible, just based on the hair, and that what, you're more of a big swing kind of guy rather than someone who's actually detail-oriented, considering you've been walking around with hummus on your shoe all night. Oh, um, and you're the guy who convinced my dad to leave my mom. So I'm not really interested in whatever it is you have to say next. Huh. Fun fact, I didn't convince him anything. And I know who you are too, you know? Sam Mason, the love swiller. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh yeah, love and whispers, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, my sister tried your package. Let's just put it this way, she's not gonna be playing doubles anytime soon. Okay, well, we offer a premium relationship service that's helped hundreds of couples. You guys are puppeteers. You tell people what to do and then you walk away leaving them floundering on their own. We actually create love. Ha! Uh, ha! Ha. You hot. Me hot. Stop you. saying hot. Stop saying hot. 
You think you're better at love than me? You ruined my family. All I did was tell your dad to follow his heart, and I introduced him to my Uncle Frankie. Mm. That's it. Mm. Look at how happy he is now. He was happy with us, too. That's real love. I mean, not that you would know anything about that, but... I know real love. You wouldn't know real love if it was sitting right next to you. I know real love, and I eat it for breakfast, and yes. it is sweet. Sweet? Mm -hmm. Okay, prove it. If you're such the master love expert, get your next client to say I love you and mean it. Oh, you are so desperate for a bet. You do it, I will do whatever you want. Back out of the wedding. I'm Uncle Frankie's best man. Oh, okay. Guess you can talk the talk, you just can't walk the walk. Fine. When I win, you have to make my couple's tennis lessons a part of Love & Whisper's premium package, and I'm not done, pay attention. <laughs> I get ad space on your company's podcast for an entire year. Sure. Yeah, you know that's not really up to me, right? Well, you know what? I'm sure you can pull some strings, because according to your dad, you're the best whisperer that's ever whispered. I think you'll be okay. Fine. Monday morning, my next client is falling in love. So it's a deal? Oh, yeah. It's a deal. A bet? Sam, are you crazy? Your job's already on the line and now you're thinking of doing some dumb love bet? Jen? Sam? Okay, look, I know, I know, I know, but <sighs> you didn't see him. He was so smug and arrogant okay. and look, just look, like... Look, 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 I hear you. I really, really do. It's just, are you like 100% positive that you don't actually have a grudge against this guy? Because you've kind of had a grudge against him ever since your parents split up. No, no, not at all, no. and. You know what? I can do this. Okay, okay. Uh, the thing is that we actually just give our clients three dates, Samantha, so only crazy people actually fall in love in literally three dates. Looks like your 10 a.m. is here. <sighs> okay, here's hoping she's crazy. Let's hope so. <sighs> and that's it. So, do you have any questions at all? It only takes three dates? Yep. But what if he doesn't like me? Why wouldn't he like you? You're amazing. I, I just, um, I don't know how to talk to people. Especially men. <sighs> Why can't men be more like cats? Well, then they'd be too smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Millie, you deserve your dream man. You're worth it. You really think so? No. No? Oh, um, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna, will you excuse me just for one second? Uh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. What are you doing here? Are you insane? What are you doing? I'm here to meet our client. Our client? Oh, you thought I was just gonna take your word on whether or not she falls in love, Sam. I take my bets very seriously. Matt, this is where I work. You can't just show up here like... Oh. A... Hello. Hi. Who's this gentleman? Hi. Hi. Um, this is... Hmm? Yeah. Oh, I'm the intern. <laughs> intern? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, the, the intern... Remember Jen set up that internship with my college? So you're in college? Oh yeah, I decided to change careers after what I realized I was doing was a giant sham. I'm Matt, by the way. I'm gonna be shadowing Sam here, but if there's anything you need, anything at all. Oh, well, thank you, Matt. I'm Brianna. It's a pleasure to meet you. I, uh, I run this office. Oh. Welcome to the team. I'm sure we'll see one another soon. Okay. Where's our client? Okay, uh, Millie, uh, sorry about that. Um, this is Matt, my underling. Intern. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna go through a series of this or that questions to get a better sense of your relationship goals. This allows us to ensure that you're building a lasting and solid relationship with your new partner. Um, okay. Okay. Um, 
Indoor or outdoor dates? Indoor. Uh, no, um, whatever he likes. Okay. And coffee dates or drinks? I don't, I don't drink. But I, I could have a coffee at a bar. Uh, if. <laughs> and you want kids? Wow. <laughs> Uh, that's a big shift. Um, mm, I guess. Come on, Millie. Be bold. Own what you want. Yes. Yes. Mm. I want kids. <laughs> that's it. Well done. <laughs> and marriage? Uh, yes, definitely. <laughs> On a roll. And do you have someone in mind that you'd like to connect with? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to tell us who? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yes. Sorry, I'm, I got carried away. Um, his name is Wyatt, and he's, <sighs> he's dreamy. You know, he like builds furniture with raw lumber with his bare hands, cause he's like, so manly. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> um, and how did you and Wyatt meet? Uh, well, we haven't. Um, uh, but I, I read an article with him online. Oh, okay, so you haven't met. You haven't met. That's okay, that's okay. Um, so we'll just, we'll have to use your first date as a meet cute. That's, that's fine. And, um, actually, I, br I brought something for you. <laughs> uh, but I, I promise I don't carry a photo of him with me all day. <laughs> What? You think he's too good for me? No. No, 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 no not at no. all. No. Um, no. No, 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 no. No, this is pointless. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Um, yeah, I, I, why would a man like that ever want? Hey, let's go get your dream man. No, 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 I, I can't, I can't do this. No way, I, what am I even wearing? I, I look, I look ridiculous. Relax, relax, our makeover team knows what they're doing. You look fantastic. Here, put this in your ear. Here, there you go. What about me? Oh, did you not bring yours? You know a good intern should always bring their own gear. Um, okay, Mill, can you hear me? Yes, I, I can hear you, but, but Sam. I Millie, listen. You're gonna be fine, okay? You've got this. Plus, I'm gonna be in your ear the whole time, so all you have to do is repeat what I'm saying. Copy? Copy. Okay, all right, now just go in there, have a look around, and we'll be in right behind you. Millie, you've got the best date whisper in the business. Go. All right, now just breathe, breathe. Breathe, Millie, 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 breathe. You got this, Millie. You're being awfully encouraging for somebody who loses if she falls in love. What? I'm a sucker for romance. Wow, oh, smells nice in here. I agree. <gasps> Sam. What? No, Millie, what? No, you're Millie, say you're Millie. I'm, 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 oh, I'm not Sam. You, you look like Sam. I, I know Sam, and you, you look just like him. <laughs> um, but I, my, my, I'm not. Sorry. Let me start over. I'm Millie. Millie. Got it. Well, what can I do for you today, Millie? You're looking for a nightstand for your father, a pair. I'm looking for a nightstand for my father, a pair. Perfect. Yeah, um, our nightstands are actually out in the back patio here. Uh, what kind of style does your dad like? Something unique and artisan would be lovely. Well, you're in good hands with me, Millie. Tell her to hold his hand. They just met. So what? He's a guy. They're easy. It's a classification. You know what? You can't do this. You can't just waltz in here and act like you know everything. That is how people get hurt, okay? I'm just saying she needs to go for it. She needs courage. Come on. Where'd she go? Pine tree that I actually cut down myself here on the property. Wow. 
Millie, what are you doing? I told you to go to the nightstand that suggests certain things. Uh, coffee tables just suggest. Do you have one big enough for a puzzle? <sighs> I was gonna say coffee, but yeah, puzzles are equally as boring. Look at him, taking her to the most expensive tables. So predictable, he's just in it for the sale. What, do you, what? What else is he supposed to be in it for? He doesn't even know that she likes him yet. You know what? You are throwing me off. Just take three steps back. Really? Yeah, three big steps. Thank you. All right, Millie, you want a date? Let the master work. So how many pieces are we thinking exactly? Go high. 10,000? 10,000 10, puzzle pieces, wow. That's a big number. I like a challenge. Well, I like a challenge. You know, the sense of accomplishment you get when you overcome something hard. Okay, well, we can work with 10. Uh, let's see, that'll kind of put you at just about. Get down there and do the same thing as him. That's it, good. Now take your hand and put it on his ever so gently. Perfect, exactly. Now look him in the eyes and say, feels about right. So you like it? Uh, I do, but I have to measure my space and I came here for my dad. So, uh, maybe, maybe next time. Okay, okay, Millie. Okay, that, that's, that's okay. Just walk to the car. Don't say goodbye, trust me. Oh, okay, that's okay. That's okay, just keep walking. Keep walking. Okay. Okay. Hey, um, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean. What's he saying? He's flustered. Doesn't matter how cool a guy is for the right woman, he will always get nervous. There you go, Wyatt. Find your courage, yes. Yes, yes, come on. Let me get your number real quick. And uh, you ready tomorrow? Does tomorrow look good? Tomorrow's great. Oh, yes. Did you see that? Did you you yes, saw that? Yes, I saw it. See, that is finesse. Don't need a jackhammer for one nail. You don't need a jackhammer for any amount of nails. Whatever. Mm. I'm good. Oh, way too much energy for pre-coffee, Jen. Okay, we'll take a sip. Okay, now just tell me everything. I mean, how did it go? What's he like? Oh, oh come on. Wait, you know that Brianna has been like talking about him nonstop, right? Okay, that is kind of disturbing. And it was awful. No, he is awful. Jen, he is so annoying. He just, he thinks he knows everything. It is so annoying, you have no idea. Mm, is it now? Careful. It's just like, there's no, there's no planning and there's no thinking. No overthinking? Right, exactly. No, wait, what? I mean, I am just saying, sometimes you like overthink, you overcomplicate, you overanalyze, you just like get in your own head and you just sabotage yourself, you know what I mean? I'm saying all of this with love, obviously. Obviously, but okay, with love, you weren't there. This guy is beyond annoying. So then, why don't you just call off the bed? No way, mm -mm. no. Okay, coffee is clearly kicking in. Jen, he needs to learn his lesson. He ruined my family. Sam. He told my dad to leave my mom, which <laughs> now that I know him is classic him. I mean, he just like pushes people to make these big decisions and, and, and throw caution to the wind and like land in the moment and, uh, not even think about repercussions, you know? Yeah, well, Sam, your dad is happier, hon. And however that came about, you've got to admit that it's good that your dad can finally live his truth. No, I, I know. I know. You're right. So what are you going to do about Matt? I'm going to crush him like a bug. Oh, hey. <clears throat> That's a little high. Oh, and he makes the catch, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Very impressive. Um, where's my dad? Upstairs, changing into a tuxedo. Okay, come on. 
You wanna try? <laughs> no. I know you're allergic to fun, but you can try this. I'm good, thank you. Dad? If you do it, I'll shut up. Okay, fine. Um, are you, are you okay? Yep. Those are those aren't soft. I'm fine. Just give me another one. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the spirit. Hey, that was amazing. No, oh, you're good where you are. Dad. <laughs> what do you think? You look really nice. I would second that. You look amazing, honey. Thank you. So, are you two ready for yours? Mm-hmm. Too many mints? Glad to see you're having some fun, Sam. Yeah, I'm dressed like a Barbie doll, so I clearly have plenty of fun. Speaking of fun, when's date number one for the Milster? Yeah, you're not coming to that? I'm sorry, what? what? What do you mean? What about our bet? You're too much of a wild card. Yeah, I know. No, that's not a good thing, Matt. Date whispering is a science. A very specific science, and you are... A rebel, loose cannon, dangerous, I know. Yeah, more like a pain in the... <laughs> wow, look at you two. <laughs> You look amazing. Mm. What's wrong, Sammy Bear? Oh, Sammy, Sam. <laughs> um, nothing, no, nothing, Dad, it's all good. Suit fits well. I just, I kinda have to run. I have a work meeting. So, um, approved? Approved. Cool. Or you could stay, have some fun, do something different. Hmm. Yeah, Matt, you um, better be careful about that cool guy advice you're always giving. Might get yourself in trouble one of these days. No way. They fired me, Matt. I did what you told me. I stood up to my boss, and they fired me. What am I gonna do? I am so sorry. I, I have kids. How am I gonna support them? I... You need to fix this. I mean, Joe, I can't. I, I don't even- You know my reach at this club. Yeah? I'm afraid I'm just gonna have to tell all your clients about this. Joe, Joe. You'd be done, Matt. Done. Yeah. Fix it. Going on. Hi, Sam. So good to see you. Can you just? What are you doing in Brianna's office? Do you? I'm sorry, but do you have any idea how much trouble I would be in if she found out about her pet? Yes, I am sorry. I was looking for you, and you weren't there. And then Brianna saw me and was like, "Hey, can you give me some coffee? Because you know, in turn." Why were you even looking for me? I told you, you're not coming on Millie's next date. About that. Um. I might have messed up big time. I, um, yeah, look, I told one of my tennis clients that she should confront her boss because he passed her over for so many promotions. So I was like, you know what? You stand up to him, you say what you gotta say, you get in there, and now she's fired. Sam, she, she's fired. I just, she's fired, Just Sam. hold this. Like, right. fired. Yes. And this, and this, and What is this? this? What is happening? Sam, you're not listening to me. You are gonna get two people fired if you keep showing up here. You don't understand, this client is Joe Law. The, 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 the tabloid writer Joe Law, the queen bee of gossip and rumors Joe Law. She's gonna ruin my reputation at the club. Sam, I'm gonna lose all my clients if I don't get this ad space. <laughs> I'm so, are you seriously asking me for a down payment on losing our bet? Yeah, I mean, well, when you say it like that, it kind of sounds desperate. Gosh, okay, I told you. Sorry, but I told you that this was gonna happen. I told you this was gonna happen. You are a meddler. You push and you push and you push. You think you know everything, but you don't. And I told you.
told you that one of these days, one of these big bombs you keep telling other people to drop mm. was going to blow up in your face. So, you help me? You are not even listening to me. That's good. You know what? I gotta go. I gotta go. Millie has a hiking date with the woodworking wonder boy, so good luck in turn. No, 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 do not, do not leave me. Sam. Texting me saying he's two minutes away. Uh, okay, that's fine. Where's Matt? Why isn't he here? Oh, Matt, he's um he's doing paperwork, uh, intern stuff today. So just you and me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've got this. Just remember, confidence, and I will be in your ear the whole time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, he's here. Twelve? Who rides a scooter? What? What? Oh, I was I was just saying it's a cool scooter. Oh well, you know he doesn't drive because he's trying to reduce his carbon footprint. You know, like to save the planet. <laughs> he's such a hero. Hi, Wyatt. Hey. <laughs> it's poisonous. Well, it's really pretty out here. Yeah, it's one of my favorite hikes. Come out here probably at least once a week. Oh. Oh, oh that's that's okay. That's okay. Just laugh at okay? us. I'm, Jeez. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, it's bark was worse than its bite. No, 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 don't make a joke. Just, just laugh. <laughs> bark. Like tree bark. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> or, should I say that's pretty wood. Huh? Oh. Huh? Hey. <laughs> wow, I, I don't know how you pulled that one off. Okay, good job. So, how did you get started in furniture making? That's actually. Oh my god, Millie! Hi! How are you? Hi. How you doing? Hi. Bob Ford, used car salesman. You look like a Vespa guy. Vespa, electric scooters, anything you need, I got you. Nice to meet you, Bob Ford. Bob Ford? Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Millie and I actually used to date. Let me tell you, she's a little crazy, a bit of a wild one, not really in a good way. Have you introduced him to the porcelain cats yet? What? Bob? Bob! Honey! Oh, I've been looking for you earlier. Um, oh, and Millie, hi! Hi, Millie is our neighbor. So sorry to intrude. And, and neighbor. you are? Wyatt. Hmm, so good to meet you. I am just so sorry about Bob. <laughs> he was just at the dentist and um, had a bad reaction to the anesthetic. He's a little loopy. You know, doesn't really know what he's saying. I don't really Yes. Know. Yep. Okay, um, well, we should get you home, honey, because, you know, the dentist said if we don't, you could die. Wow, that's, that's serious. Okay, bye, guys. Great meeting you. Great meeting you, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you don't say anything. Millie, you're doing great, okay? I'm just gonna be five minutes. Just ask him, ask him about his job. Ask him if he has pets. Um, if, if um, he's close with his family, okay? So are you out of your mind? I cannot lose this bet, okay? I need those ads. So just buy the ad space, don't ruin my day. I cannot buy the ads. Look, I'm not gonna get into it right now. Money's a little bit tight, and I'm sorry. What do you care anyways? You practically hate the guy. What, I don't hate him. Really? Yeah. Do you remember the files you put in my arms earlier? Yeah, I read what you put in your initial reports about him. Pretentious? Well, he's, you know, his furniture prices are insanely high. Mm -hmm. Manipulative. Did you see? He, he took her to coffee tables when she was looking for nightstands. Mm. Phony? I mean, come on, Sam. You saw the guy once. How could you know any of it? Okay, fine. Maybe Phony was elite, but you should have seen this guy today rolling in on a scooter for the environment. And the only person that does that is Leonardo DiCaprio, so clearly my instincts are spot on. Look, it, none of this even matters. Look, my job is on the line, okay? You can't keep doing these things. Sam, please, I'm begging you, okay? I'll leave him alone, just help me. I am not giving you ad space. I told you I don't even have the power to do that. Okay, if you back off, I will help your client get her job back. Seriously? Really? Yes. Just come to my house tonight. I will text you the address, we'll, we'll get it all sorted. Okay, now if you'll excuse me, I have to go fix the mess that you made. Yes, yes. Go, All right, go, 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 thank go. you. Yes. Wait, do you want my help? No. Okay. You told them that 
you'd whisper for his client? How does that work? I don't know. But I mean, it can't be that different than whispering for a date, right? I mean, instead of a kiss, the goal is a job. I guess. I think I'm just surprised that you offered. I thought that he was public enemy number one. He is. But you know I also can't lose my job. So if this keeps him off my back, then fine. Plus, uh, you know, it's nice to do nice things for nice people. You know, after today, I'm not entirely sure he's people. Maybe an alien sent to destroy my life. Oh, that is him. I gotta go. Okay, so... Tell me what is going on. What? What are you doing? It's pizza, just pick it up and eat it. I don't wanna get my hands messy. The mess is part of the fun. Says the man who's in quite a bit of a mess. Touche. I'm just saying not everything has to be so serious. Sam. What is happening with your client? You were right. I should not have told her to confront her boss. So what does she want? I, just, just her job back. She said she tried calling, but she's not exactly the calmest person under pressure, so. <sighs> okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, I'm gonna need a list of information from her, and then Friday, 10 a.m., we will meet in front of her office. I will get her job back. Do you really think this is gonna work? Same principles as dating. Establish trust, build a connection, find your hooks, get a positive outcome. It really is a science. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you a question? Sure. You know, earlier you had mentioned that your job was on the line. What do you mean? Well, I just, I haven't been in the best place lately. And my work's been suffering, and so Brianne, your bestie, she's given me one less chance to prove my worth to the company. So, if Millie doesn't fall in love, then I'm... You, you did a bet on top of all of this. I, <laughs> you must really want me out of your dad's wedding. I'm just gonna no, go no, get no, a four. No, you're not. You're an adult. Eat your pizza like a real woman. Come on. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hi. I'm happy. It's the smallest of victories. A pizza with no fork? Well done. Thank you. Tastes better, right? I admit nothing. Hmm. That was the serve that won me the match. So then, I rushed the net. You know, because I thought it was a cool thing to do. And I got my foot caught and ended up knocking out my two front teeth. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not the best move, but uh, I was hooked. I knew I loved the sport at that point. I got them fixed. I was just checking. Really? I was just you checking. Sure? But okay. they look good. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Second question for you. Mm -hmm. Earlier, you had mentioned that your work's been suffering. Is this from your mom and dad splitting up? Uh, yeah. Huh. But hey, I mean, I know you didn't mean to get involved with their relationship. Oh, no, I, I wasn't apologizing. Is... Oh. Well, <laughs> well, you, you should. Yeah, but you just. Set. I was being polite. Matt, you know, you told my dad to leave my mom, and it broke up our family. With just another one of Matt's big pushes? Sam, it was a push that worked out. I mean, your dad's happier now. What is wrong with you? Have you learned nothing, Matt? There is a way to do things, a method. A science? Yes. Mm. Yes, a science. You can't just keep going around and taking all these big risks. That's how people get hurt. I mean, look at your client. Yeah, you know what? Fine. Maybe, Sam. I don't regret your dad, though. He lived his entire life as a lie, Sam. So no, that was the right push. I'm sorry that you found out the way that you did. It sucks, okay? That I get. You get it? Yeah. You get it. No, Matt, you don't get it. Okay, you don't know what it feels like to think you know someone your whole life and then find out you were a mistake. Sam, I don't Please leave. Okay. Hey. hey, 
Um, can I talk to you really quickly? Yeah, of course. Um, are you okay? You seem a little... Yeah, no, I'm good. It's just, I don't know, something... It's just that... Sam, my office. Okay. How are things with your client? Um, good, I think. I mean, the guy is a little- Two dates in and one date left. Yeah, and I was actually thinking- Is she happy? Yes. Is there a connection? I think so. I'm gonna tell you this as your friend, Sam. You've been with this company a long time. And like I said before, you were our top whisperer for years. Please don't mess this up. I really don't want to fire you. Um, <clears throat> I won't. Get out of your own way. Mm-hmm. Sam, get out of your own way. Thanks, Brianna. Sam. Yeah. How is that intern of yours doing? Uh, um, good. Very good. Okay, bye. Where is she, Matt? She will be here, Joe, I promise. She better be. If she's not, you can say goodbye to yes, your career. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very well aware she, my life is... Oh. There she is. See? Told you. No, really, just trust me. I know, I know it feels fast, but just text him exactly what I told you, okay? We have to get clarity on how he's feeling, and this is the best way to do it without... She does this a lot. Exactly, so... Okay. Okay, we'll lock in day three tomorrow. I'll see you then. Okay, yeah, I got it. Bye. Hi. Hi, so uh, you're Joe? Surely you know who I am, dear. All right, um, you're gonna put this in your ear. Okay, so what's she gonna do? Like a big grand gesture or, oh no, she could build a fire alarm. That's him, then... right? Okay, you're gonna walk over there, bump into him and spill this on yourself. Excuse me, this is a silk blouse. Okay, well if you wanna keep buying more, you'll listen to me. Look, we need to establish a dynamic where he is at fault and you're the victim. Okay, so don't get any on him. Go now, go. <sighs> Come on. Oh! I am so sorry, Joe. Joe, what are you doing here? I told you I'm not giving you your job back. You don't want your job back. You've already accepted a new job. You just stopped by to pick up a few things for your new office. No, my blouse. It's ruined. Did you say something about my old job? After just spilling coffee all over me? She's good. She is loving this. I don't want your job, Doug. I already accepted a new offer. Here, let me give you some money for the... Did you say you accepted another job? Where? Don't tell him where, let him ask again, and don't take any money. Keep him feeling in the wrong. Keep your money, Doug. I don't have time to stop. I'm picking up a few things for my new office a corner office in the penthouse. No, 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 don't, don't improv and don't oversell. Take the money. No, I gotta go. Hey, where did you accept that offer? Go big. Whitehall Press. Whitehall? Wow, that was fast. Apparently they were waiting for me to be free. A headhunter had me in to talk to the CEO and CFO. Big plans. Go and walk away. Doesn't matter. I gotta run and figure out something with this blouse. Don't hesitate, just go. Joe. Maybe we should talk before you officially start your new job. Hmm, all right.
They are so cute. Come on, you can't deny it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are pretty cute. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just out of my mind. Oh, you yeah. know? Hey, how's the bet going, by the way? Do you think you're actually going to be an I Love You by date three? Mm. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm starting to think, what if he's not the right guy for her? You know, or, or what if he hurts her or leaves her? Interesting. What? Oh, no, nothing. It's just, I don't know, your focus seems to have shifted from getting Matt out of the wedding to actually really worrying about your client. Oh, my focus is on keeping my job. Yeah, I mean, I guess if Matt's in the wedding, it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not like it's my wedding, right? Oh, yeah, speaking of which, I'm gonna leave you two to chat. Jen, Jen. Hi. Hi. Can I buy you another drink? <laughs> How about your dad, huh? I'm happy he's having fun. Did you set this all up? Maybe. Wow. You've been helping a lot with the wedding stuff, so thank you. Of course. You were amazing today, by the way. Like, seriously, it was really cool to watch, and it made me think about some things, too. I know you're going through it at work right now, but I can definitely see how you're the best whisperer over there, so. Thanks. I mean, it's a lot easier to be on your game when love's not actually involved. Yeah, about that. What? What's going on? I want to change the bet. Oh. Afraid you're gonna lose? If I win, you have to talk to your dad. It's good to see nothing's changed. Sam, I promise you this isn't some big swing thing, okay? Look, your dad loves you. He misses you. Miss it. I'm right here. I have I've been at all the wedding stuff. I'm I'm at the bachelor party. I'm I'm actually standing at the altar. You're here, but you're not really here, Sam. We all see that he feels that. There's like this barricade where you don't want to get hurt, you just put it in front of people. This is none of your business. You need to tear it down, Sam. Matt, stop it. Guys, guys, they're calling for the best people to come up hey, on. Can you take me home? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Hey, if you want to change your end of the bet, that's fine. Mine still stands. When you lose, you are out of this wedding. think he is telling me to talk to my dad? He is my dad. I will talk to him when I want to. Jen? I'm here. No. Y you agree with him? Are you serious? You're a traitor. No, Sam. I'm just saying I think that this whole bad thing is dumb and dangerous. And I think that okay, you... Okay, I, I get it. I get it. Maybe you talking to your dad wouldn't actually be the worst thing in the entire world. It's not gonna bring my family back together. Maybe it will though. I mean, not in the way that it used to be, but you'll have your dad back. And he'll have you. That's family, Sam. And plus, I mean, think of like all the birthday gifts that Frankie must give. I mean, ah. <laughs> oh. Seriously, if you do not want him as a dad, I will take him. You'll take him. I will take him. Please, just, just right over this way. <laughs> Thanks. Hey boss, what you doing? I am just creating the perfect park atmosphere for a picnic for Millie and Wyatt. The perfect picnic park place. I do love alliteration. Hmm. Well, please participate post haste. Oh, of course. I gotta admit I was expecting a different vibe. I wasn't really sure if I should show up or not. Yeah. Um, well, I may have maybe sort of overreacted the other night. I mean, I, I know you're just trying to help. 
in your very matte way. The Mighty Matte Method, some might call it. Ah, see what you did there. So, are we pushing for the I love you today? Lots on the line. Yeah. <laughs> you know about that? You don't have to pull out of the wedding. I mean, that was really never fair of me to ask. Really? Well, thanks. thanks, Sam. And I guess using your relationship with your dad as a bet wasn't the best tactic either? Mm -hmm. Sorry, but I do think you two should talk. How about we change it to a friendly bet? Friendly? No way. We are putting something on the line. Ah, I love the sound of that. What do you have in mind? Um, ooh, wedding gifts? Loser buys winners? Yes, deal. Mine is gonna be huge. Mine is gonna be so big and so expensive with insane delivery fees. International, of course. That is brutal. Okay, well, I'm gonna get one of Wyatt's, no, no, 10 of Wyatt's coffee tables. <gasps> Monster. Uh, hi. Hi. What are you doing? Millie, hi, how are you? Are you sane again? I may have told her that you went temporarily insane from eating some bad sushi. What? Yes, yes, no, I... That is the last time that I mix California rolls and Alaska rolls. Those states just don't get along. Well, I'm glad you're back. You're really good at building me up. Thank you. Just like Sam is good at guiding me. Oh. You two make a good team. No. <laughs> no, I don't really think so. With him? It feels a little weird. No. She's... Um, but, but Millie, how are you feeling? I mean, that's the important thing. I feel good. Uh, yeah, that nervous, shaky, can't stop thinking horrible thoughts kind of good. Uh, okay, um, well, what kind of horrible things? I just realize how different we are. You know, at first I was like, yay! But now I'm like, yikes. Well, that's normal. You're questioning your attraction. I mean, it's a risk liking someone. And you know there's actually no one better to talk to about risks than that. Me? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Because I've taken all that big swing stuff deep down and locked it away. It's forever gone. Sure. Well, you can let just a little out. Millie! Whoa. This is it. What's your favorite food? What? Uh, grilled cheese? I'm sorry, is that a question? Grilled cheese with tomato. Exactly. And what was it like just before the first time you tried grilled cheese with tomatoes? Well, I don't know, it was like three probably. You doubted <laughs> yourself, you were nervous. That's okay, I mean grilled cheese with tomatoes? Madness. Now it's your favorite, your absolute favorite, right? This is the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I can kind of see how you draw the line. The same thing! Nerves are good. Nerves are good. You're gonna have fun. I'm gonna have fun. Yes! And if it feels right, you're gonna give that boy a smooch. <laughs> what? Mm. I agree. I mean, less yelly and manic, but... Um, I agree. Okay, yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, this is amazing, and I, I couldn't have done it without you. Well, we are gonna just be in the car. And you just have fun, okay? Come on. Too? Really? <gasps> oh, there's Wyatt. He's walking over. He did all this? This is amazing. Okay, let me know what he's saying. Oh, well, you can just listen yourself. Earbuds? Are you sure that I'm ready for this? Hmm. 
There's no mic on it. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. Uh, hey, Sam. <gasps> shh, 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 they're sitting down. Yeah, I know how you like to be outside, so. Yeah, it's perfect. You're perfect. Oh, Wyatt. Okay. Let's hear it. I'm sure you're going to say what a fraud he is and how men use these cheesy lines to trick women in it. Come on, let it out. I think he means it. I'm, no, I'm. Really? I'm not, I'm not. Hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? No, Are you okay? Wait, 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 hang on. What's happening? Millie, is everything all right? What is it? Millie, take, Millie, take a breath. <sighs> take a deep breath, okay? You're okay. I, I'm not perfect, though. I'm not perfect. I've had you this whole time. Who, who are you talking to? Millie, don't talk to me directly, okay? Just listen to my voice, okay? Now just look him in the eyes and listen to my words, okay? Breathe in with me and out, no, okay? No, 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 no. I, I can't. I can't Millie? do this. Millie, you're okay. Just, I, just breathe, okay? Millie? I'm not perfect. I'm not. I can't. Millie, are you I'm with me? Perfect. Millie? Millie? What is that? <gasps> I'm not, I'm She's not. gone rogue. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Come on. I like board games. And not the, the normal game night kind of board games. The really nerdy ones. I have a Dungeons and Dragons character. Her name is Snarf. She's half orc and she's really ugly. Oh, oh okay. Are, are you all right? I'm a terrible runner. I, I don't swing my arms and I, I take really tiny steps. I don't know why, it just, it feels weird doing it any other way, okay? And I, I look like a penguin trying to escape a wave. Lower. This is as low as I go. Are, are we on one of those like punked hidden camera shows right now or something? I have zero confidence. Sometimes I walk into doors and then I apologize to the door. It's actually pretty cute. I talked to my cats a lot, and I gave them human names so it would seem less weird, but it still seems weird. And her names are David and Glenn. Millie. I've killed Whoa. at least six plants in Whoa. the past year. And I wear a mouth guard at night. And sometimes I still do the puzzles on the back of cereal boxes. Millie, I have no idea what's going on right now, but all that, that's, it's okay. It's okay. But there's one more thing. I hired a date whispering service to help make you fall for me. That's, that's them over there. You guys can come out, you're terrible hiders. A date whispering service? Like, one of those things where they tell you what to say the entire time? I was scared. You just, you seem so perfect. And I'm just me. Millie, you okay? Wait, hi. You guys are from the hike. And you, you're the one who said all those weird, horrible things. Yeah, I, um. Quiet. No, what? Everything you told me was a lie? No. God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just wanted you to like me. It wasn't you. That's so sad. It was never you. Wyatt, it, it was her. It wasn't a lie. We just help our clients put their best selves forward. But they aren't her words, they're your words. Well, we have an intricate, detail-oriented process. Questionnaires and interviews, all to learn about a client's personality to make sure we're not showing anyone in a false light. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it just feels so weird now. I, I... Makes it kind of hard to trust you. Why? No, I'm, I'm sorry. This, this, is, this is too much. But she just told you that she apologizes to doors. Anybody who does that is obviously a good person. And she, she has cats named David and Glenn. How cute is that? And did I hear something about a penguin run? 
do, do you want to show us real quick? No. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I bet it's adorable. Look, the point is, she put herself out there and she laid all of her quirks bare because she likes you. She hired Sam because she likes you, man. I don't know, man. I mean, it's... She got the best whisper in this town. Millie's in. And obviously you like her too, otherwise you wouldn't have had this weird freak out. Look, my motto is just do it. Pretty sure that's... Yeah. Look, what yes. I'm trying to say is just go for it. Okay? You only live once, man. You know, you're right. You're both right. Sometimes I sleep with a log under my pillow because I, I like the smell of freshly cut wood in the morning. Really? Well, it's not, not, not a log, it's more like a small branch and, and always hickory, never oak. And don't even get me started on cedar because that's like the most overrated well, okay. species. Well, um, okay, but we don't have to do the whole list thing again, but you guys enjoy your picnic. We're gonna go. You're leaving? Yeah. You don't need us anymore. You've got this. Hey. Hey. Very well done. You know, you were like a surgeon with your words. I mean, so so precise, so perfectly articulate. Mm. Well, look, I hate to admit it, but your whole um, just do it mentality definitely worked today. So thank you for pushing a little bit. Wow. <laughs> OK, don't let it go to your head. <laughs> I mean, my head barely fits in my hats as it is. Oh my god, you were like a different person. Yeah, no. you. Mm-mm. Uh, mm -mm. It's one bite. Uh, what was that? The forks were all in mm -hmm. there. Mm-hmm, that's, that's what I thought you said. Okay. Look, well, I think I will take this golden opportunity to point out the fact that, um... <clears throat> drum roll. You lost the bet. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, did you just drum roll me losing? Yeah. Is that not what a drum roll's for? No, no, it's not, actually. I don't think so. I... Okay. Fine. I know I lost. The thing is, I know they love each other. And it won't be long until they're saying it, so... Your spreadsheets were a success, Sam. Oh, I know. My success sheets are always a success. Oh, my God. I'm just trying to say <laughs> we can both consider this a win, okay? That is very diplomatic of you. But thank you, because I would have had to remortgage my house to buy one of Wide's coffee tables. <laughs> yes, yes. <sighs> hmm. You know, um, actually speaking of our, our bets, I think, I think that maybe you might have been right. I mean, maybe I should talk to my dad. What? Wow, Sam, that's... Wow, yes, that would mean the world to him. So thank you for pushing, because I definitely needed it. Of course. Uh... Listen, while we're being serious, mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I owe you an apology. I was pretty mean about love and whispers when we first met, and I shouldn't have been. I'm sorry. What you do helps people, Sam. I see that now. Thank you. and how your last client took out her earbud and went rogue, so here. Oh, well, I, I don't know if it really warrants donuts, but well, just take a bite and then you tell me. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I found donuts for a very good call. Yeah, I know, I got you. Sam, my office, please. Okay. Okay? Okay, you're good. Go! 
Um, Brianna, listen, I can explain about Congratulations, what Sam. You're not upset with me. Why would I be upset? Well, you wouldn't be. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. Because your client went rogue and you revealed yourself to her date? Yeah, kind of, kind of that. We've all had a rogue client here and there. Well, not me, of course, but... Of course. But the others, I'm sure. What I care about, Sam, are results. And on that front, you delivered. Your review came in this morning from your client, and it's one of the best I've seen in a while. <laughs> Five stars across the board. <laughs> You're back, Sam. You can breathe again. Whew. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, wow, thank you. I'm, I'm so glad because, I mean, this job means a lot to me. What we do for people, helping them find love and breaking down the walls between them, it, it fulfills me. Well, I'm happy to hear it because I have another client for you. Oh. <laughs> well, this is an executive client. We'd like to make you an executive, Sam. What do you say? can dress just like our boss, which it is so awful. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, you'd be surprised how hard it is to find like really ugly blazers. I bet. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> so, how's everything else going? Are you feeling ready for the rehearsal dinner tomorrow? Yeah. You know, actually, I am. I don't know, it's weird. I feel like I've been walking around this dark maze for months and like, I finally found a path out, you know? Does that sound super crazy? Mm -mm. No, it does not sound super crazy. It actually mm. sounds really, really good. Like, mm. really, really, really. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering. How much of this like newfound path of yours is because of Mr. Matt, whatever his last J name no, is? No, no, stop, stop. Mm -mm. I am just saying, or you know what? I am asking. Let's say that I'm asking so that you actually have to answer. He's, he's a good guy. He's a really good guy. And he's helped me a lot. But Jen, romance, it's not a part of the plan right now. Sam and her plans. I do love my plans. You do. <laughs> Should we get some food? Yes. And put on some trashy TV. Oof! I am so glad to see being a big time exec hasn't changed you. <laughs> song my song with Matt Matt yes on the dance floor now I'm sorry what <laughs> come on dance floor go on the dance floor Frankie's so fashionable, you think he would choose a trendier dance than the Vogue. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 nice. Nice. Why do we go show them how it's done? The 
Let's go. I bet you can't eat that one bite. You know, a better bet would be, how many of these Frankie has already stuffed into his bag? Oh, bro, true. He's got a bit of a problem. We gotta work on that. <laughs> How's your night going? Good. Yeah, this, this all good? Mm-hmm. Where's, uh, where's your partner in crime? She is off hobnobbing with LA's fashion night. Oh, are you trying to say that this isn't your scene either? <laughs> Not really. Yeah, I feel weirdly nervous around all these people. Even me? Oh, especially you. I think what you do is amazing, Sam. You're amazing. Hey. I think you're smart and funny in a very dry, borderline, mean kind of way, but I dig it. And I think you're intelligent. That's the same thing as smart. Okay. <laughs> See, that, that, very mean, but funny. I'm sorry, I, I just feel a little <laughs> nervous right now. I, I don't, what I'm trying to say is, is that when I'm around you, I just feel like I'm a better version of myself. I have so much fun with you, and Matt. I like you. I actually wrote a, a, a spreadsheet for you, and <laughs> it's just, I don't really have a spreadsheet. I just thought that would be funny. That's Matt, I can't do this. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry. It's no, not, no, it's, 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 it's really, fine. it's not, it's, it's not you. I fine, it, it is fine. Um, just a quick question, I'm just, I thought you were done hating romance. I thought you were done running away from all that. I mean, we had so much fun with Millie and Wyatt. Yeah, that was them, not me. I know, but, but you and me, like that, you can't deny we were a good team. It really doesn't matter. No, no, it does matter though, Sam, that's, that's it. Okay, do you remember when I said I didn't have a lot of money for the ads? Brianna already said that she's- That's, not, that's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I mean. Just, just let me finish. It's because of my sister. She is going through a divorce right now, and I've been trying to help her, and it has gotten messy and drawn out and ugly. And she has always felt like her and this guy were just two different people. And I, I just think that's- that's how everybody lives their lives, and I don't want that. And then I meet someone as frustrating and as amazing as you, and I find out that you are the best person I have ever met, Matt. and we are a good team. Matt, it's all, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You make me better. You challenge so me. It doesn't matter. So what? So what? So what? What do you mean, so, so what? what? So what? We're a good team. So we make each other better now? Is that a problem? What happens in 10 years? I can't tell What about in 20 you? years? What happens when you wake up one day and you suddenly decide that you found something better? You're right, you're right, we are a good team. We're great. That's exactly why I can't be with you, because look, great, it never lasts. Sam. Sorry. What's wrong with you? You did the right thing. You did the right thing. Definitely did the right thing.
to sleep, Sam. You did the right thing. Did I? I just said that I liked her. I don't, I don't, I don't understand what I did wrong. Frankie, but this is stupid. I don't know. Hey, I thought I wasn't supposed to see you until you walked down the aisle. God, look at you. You look so beautiful. Thank you. OK, what's going on? Don, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I, I, I... Sam isn't here yet, honey. Well, like, have you tried to call her? I have been trying to call her all day. Her phone is off. I go to her house, but I'm the last person that she wants to see. I can go. No, I'll go. What about the wedding? Hey, that's my baby girl, OK? Let me go f figure it out, OK? And I'll come right back as soon as I can. Of course, of course. I'll just regale them with some song and dance numbers. <laughs> and you go be the wonderful father that you are. Sammy! Dad? Yes! What? Oh, I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry, I, I fell asleep. I couldn't sleep, so I turned off my phone, and then a bird pooed on my head. Well, they say that's good luck. Ew, who says that? Wait, wait, why aren't you at your wedding? Hello? Because you aren't. Look, Sam, it's time that we talked about all this, OK? Inside. Less chance, more luck landing on your head. And then the cat is found. Holly and Paul share a passionate kiss. He has always loved her, and she can now finally love him because she truly understands what love is. And that, that is breakfast at Tiffany's. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, go, 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 go. This is for you. Thank you. Wow. You look really nice. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get my suit and we're gonna go. Yeah, Sam, 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 gonna... Sam. <laughs> Let's just sit and talk for a second. Okay. I'm sorry I ruined your rehearsal dinner. You didn't. <laughs> and now your actual wedding. Oh, please. What's a gay wedding without a little drama? Sam, what's going on? I don't know. I don't know, Dad. I don't know. I think I'm pretty messed up. I know, baby. I'm just scared, you know, of caring for someone, of someone caring for me. I just, I don't want to take that chance. Sam, what happened between your mom and me has nothing to do with you. It wasn't her fault. It was no one's fault. And I know you want someone to blame. That person isn't here, which makes it so much harder. But you can't hide your heart away forever. Yeah, but you guys were so happy. I know. We were. I mean, that's why your mom is still my best friend. I loved her then, and I still love her now. It had nothing to do with us caring for each other, or you. 
words so you don't feel like I was a mistake. Like maybe you would have just been happier if you never had me. What? Oh my I don't God. Know. Hey. What made you come up with that idea? Best thing that's ever happened to me. Why didn't you just say that? Why didn't you just tell me what was going on? Why couldn't you have just been honest? I wasn't honest with myself, Sam. My whole life. It took me a long time to figure out why I wasn't. I wasn't happy. So you weren't happy? No, no, that's that's not what I meant. Um, I was so happy with our family, with you, your mom. I felt like the luckiest guy in the world. That's why it was so hard. I felt like here I am, I have the perfect wife and the perfect beautiful daughter. Why don't I feel complete, you know? And then I met Frankie. Through my arch nemesis, Matt. I don't think he had a master plan. I mean, you know Matt, and I don't think he's capable of coming up with a master plan. You know, I did actually have to show him what an Excel sheet is. Oh, your success sheet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Point is, it's not Matt's fault. I, mean, I was just born this way, you know? He just gave me the courage to accept who I am. Don't say it like that. What? Oh, like he is some sort of hero. <sighs> or at least a half-decent guy. He is. You know that. Just worried, you know? I do. Giving your heart to someone is the scariest thing to do in the world. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a good guy. And he likes you. A lot. <laughs> I'm really sorry. About everything. You're my daughter. You never have to say you're sorry. Now, oh, come on. I'd still like to get married today if you would still be my best woman. Let's get you to the altar. Yes. Ready? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's uh, let's get some of that out of your hair, huh? Oh, ew, ew, ew. I totally yeah. forgot about that. Oh, my God. How embarrassing would that have been if I went still with this in my hair <laughs> walking down the aisle? Yeah, yeah. We're going. Yeah. Go, go. Wedding. No, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. All right. Going. We're going. going. going okay. <laughs> But, uh, unfortunately, that's where the book and the movie differ, Wait, because... They're here. Yes, they're here, they're here. Yes. They're here. Okay. Too bad. Yeah. Okay. How do I look? Look, you look good, right? Okay. Hello. Sorry. Hey. Hi, so sorry, totally my fault, bird incident. Hi. It's okay. I told them all about my favorite Audrey Hepburn movies. They loved it, right, Matt? Mm-hmm. How are you doing, sweetie? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I just feel awful. I'm really sorry. No, don't be silly. Look, we are just glad that you're here now. Thanks, Dad. Oh. You're gonna make me cry before the ceremony. <laughs> don't cry. Hey, guys, this is beautiful, but uh, the makeup's starting to melt. People are looking like the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. We should probably get started. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to celebrate the joy. I mean, who knew that turntables could make that horrible noise, right? 
Um, okay. I'm just gonna borrow this really quickly. Sorry, sorry. Sam. I'm fine. Um, <clears throat> hi. <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. Um, I promise this won't take long. Uh, I just wanted to say that my dad, my dad, has always led by example. Whether it's how to sneak broccoli under the table to the dog. I remember that. Hmm. Or, um, or how to trip and then turn it into a light jog so no one really knows how clumsy you are. You just did that this morning. Stop it. You're giving away my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> he also taught me how to be insanely organized and how rules and charts and always having a plan can overcome any obstacle. You see, I was thrown for a loop when my dad met Frankie because, well, this guy who had always been so regimented was suddenly throwing caution to the wind and, and taking a big swing on something he couldn't have known the outcome of. It threw me. I, I mean, I was like, who is this guy? But what I didn't realize was he was just teaching me another life lesson. I'm not good at this whole big grand gesture thing, but I do know I'm really tired of playing it safe. So once again, following in my dad's lead, I am going to take a chance. And instead of running the numbers and sussing everything out, I'm just gonna listen to my heart. And my heart is telling me I really wanna give us a shot. If you'll go all in with me. Well, lucky for you, I ran the numbers. They're perfect, Sam. You are so perfect. <laughs> that was a really impressive speech. Thank you. You know, I actually learned from this guy I met. Really? Mm-hmm. It sounds amazing. I bet that if I... Mm -mm. No more bets. <laughs> <laughs>